Captain and Tangela too. And our host, Vincent Van Dahl. Can he bring it to ya? Creature features and all creatures. Welcome to episode 300 of your most favorite program and mine, Creature Features. I am Vincent, that is Tangela, and this is Mr. Livingston. It has been five years, ten months, and nineteen days since our humble little production first premiered on October 29th, 2016. Interesting. Tangela says it's been 51,576 hours since that broadcast. Or 3,094,560 minutes since then. That's quite enough, love. We needn't know the number of seconds. Livingston, how does it feel to have created 300 episodes of an entertaining program? It feels like I've endured 3,000. Could we please cease all of this nonsense so that you may resume your retirement? I would, but I find doing this is far too entertaining to stop now. Not to mention that we cannot even fathom the sheer amount of trouble this one would get into with all the additional spare time. Onward, in celebration of our tricentennial episode, we have both a fantastic film and most fabulous guests. First up, we shall present The Screaming Woman from 1972. We've shown this one once before, almost two years ago. If you've seen it prior, it is still quite worth watching again. Starring Olivia de Havilland, Joseph Cotton, Ed Nelson, and Charles Robinson, this is a fun film about an unfortunate woman who finds herself in the unfortunate predicament of having been buried alive, unfortunately. You'll love it. And to join us for this evening of mirth and merriment will be Jessica and Michael from the Grim Life Collective. Veteran viewers of our program will recall that these are the plucky adventurers who frequently travel the countryside in search of filming locations, crime scenes, and places with paranormal activity for their popular YouTube channel. They'll tell us about why they're in the area, talk about their latest escapades, and share with us their spooky insights about tonight's film. So don't go away, for it is to be another night of grim life buried alive fright, right here on Creature Features. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. It's a grim life, it's a grim life on episode 300 of our show. Yeah, <laughs> if I had a guitar, which I have several, but if I had one in my lap right now, I would write the tune. It will be called The Grim Life on episode 300 of Creature Features. Because that's what we're doing tonight, right? Every time we get together, we talk about a band. A we band. A band. We'll get the band back together. Right? Backup singer. Right, right. Welcome to the show. It's going to be a fun one tonight. We've got The Grim Life Collective with us. And it's episode 300. And we are showing a wonderful film called The Screaming Woman. And you guys have seen this one. 
Yes. But you're going to watch it again with us because yes. you love it, like as yes. much as I, not as much as I love it, but you love it almost as much as I love it. But yeah, you're back. Hello. What, are you, what in God's name are you doing up here again? Oh, finding creepy things and getting lost in the fog. Treasure. Oh, yes, the fog. Yes. Yeah, he loves that film, The oh. Fog. Yeah. Great. And movie. you love that film now because he I loves do. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I hadn't really been as obsessed before we got married right. to that movie, but now it's. Now he's force fed it into your life. In my top force fogged three. it. Force fogged. Right. <laughs> right. No, no, no. That so was it was a bit foggy out on the bay today, right? Yeah. Right? Always. And it's so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Well, you know, it keeps all the things green, which is what we like, you know, because if you go just a little bit farther inland, everything's brown right this time of year. Sometimes it's nice when things are dead. No, no, I agree. And Tangela would agree as well. But however, the grass is nice to be green, right? Green grass is very green nice. Grass, green brown grass, of home, grass usually right, means don't step right. there. So if you're just joining us for the first time ever and you haven't seen these two, they do a thing called Grim Life Collective. That is your YouTube but it's like your brand. It's like your corporate thing, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they they go on adventures and they document the entire thing. Entire and you have thing. like 10 billion subscribers now, Ooh. right? Nine billion. Nine billion <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> no. Well, you're getting close to 10. No, they're YouTube <laughs> famous. Oh, man. You're getting invited to fun stuff now, right? We're, we're trying to, we're, we do our best to keep every day as interesting as possible. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just two, it's a married couple traveling the, the country and next year the world just visiting yeah. the places that we've loved growing up and things that have scared us. And it turns out that families and people all over the world share the same ambitions, ambitions yeah. and, and desires as we do. And for some reason it tapped into something and, and people have been inviting us to conventions and shows and it, it's, it's wild. And they live vicariously through you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we no. get that a lot. Well, you know, yeah. I, I think the key to you guys is, is the way you present it. Because, you know, uh, a, lot of these, uh, a lot of these YouTubers are presumptuous fops. They're just, you know, oh, come look at me. Look at where I am. Look at me. Oh, look, I'm wearing a new shirt. Look at me. But you guys do it so This fun. is my dog. Right, right, right. Now you guys do it better. Anyways, we're going to talk some more about Thank that. You. Let's say we start this film. Mm -hmm. And then when we come back, we'll talk about the film. And we'll talk about uh, your latest adventure. Right? Beautiful. All right. Off we go, The Screaming Woman, 1972. Don't miss this film, it's a good one. Welcome back. We are watching The Screaming Woman with the Grim Life Collective. Jessica, what do you think of this film so far? I really enjoy this one. Um, tales like this often remind me how uh, drama and comedy reflect real life because a lot of... You see comedy in this. Well... It was funny how she screamed. We're the grim life. Oh, so everything grim is funny, right? It's more my, my, my opinion on films from the 70s. I find them to be more uh, comedic because we're getting into color, right? Lots of technicolor, lots of colors, and yeah. Right. And uh, definitely their use Shag of rugs. colorful clothing right. in the films, too. And, now, uh, what did you think of a little buggy? Oh, I love those. I, you know, I want oh, one I of those. I, I, I suppose I'm going to have to buy a horse first, but it would be nice to have a little buggy. You know, I could, I, could, I could get the buggy and then have perhaps Andrew a little donkey. pull it until I a get a horse, donkey. right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Anyways, that uh, screaming woman, she found uh, somebody under the dirt. We don't know who or what, but uh, should be fun. So what are you folks doing up here for this particular trip? Well, we always try to find the, the deepest, strangest things to film. So there's a couple different filming locations that are up here, right. up in this area that everybody thinks was filmed in like New Zealand. Really? And Wales and Ireland, but no, they actually filmed it up, parts of it up here in uh, Northern California. A very right. small part, like yeah. two frames. But it's, it's still cool. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. 
So we got yeah. we got a, a couple big secrets coming. Oh, you don't want to talk about them yet? I can if you want. You should. Remember the movie Willow? I remember Willow. Yeah. Well, there's a scene where everybody's walking uh, on this uh, this quest, and they pass a a pretty magnificent, enchanting looking waterfall. Right. And it's up at a place called Bernie Falls. Oh, I've been there. Yeah. So we're going to go up there and check that out. And, a little uh, bit of so hexercise. you said the scene is only very short. And yeah. they brought the entire yes. crew cast. Yeah. Well, for that, what they did was when they were all done, they brought it back here. They were getting ready to edit and all that jazz and Ron Howard and crew wanted to get this feel that everybody was walking long distances across yeah. continents. Right. So they filmed part of that at this waterfall and they also had plans to uh, film in China, but mm. China wasn't letting them. Oh. So they actually sent some cinematographers or some camera crew over there to get some shots. They brought it back here and they green screened the actors on it. Oh, a bit of a nerd. Right. No, no, no. It's a green screen. You can accomplish a lot with a green screen, right? Sorry. Camera. He's, has he still got that camera issue? I, I don't know. We stopped at this haunted hotel the other day. Right. Mm. Um, we were doing this Goonies video, and we stopped at this haunted hotel the outside, on the outskirts of Petaluma, and we found this weird box, and I haven't been the same since. Oh my goodness! We shot a video. Well, it's you need to stay through. away from the haunted hotels. You, you did not stay in the haunted. Oh, we did. I know how to. Oh, fix you it. stayed. Yeah, there yeah. was this weird greenish blue light coming from the the closet. Here, we, hold we, this. We we'll make it this, feel better. We found this box. That'll be some treasure. And we went on this adventure at this place called Goat Rock Beach. Oh, Goat Rock! I know mm -hmm. it's not far from here at all. Yeah, it was it was pretty. No, yeah, it's pretty nice. intense. And, and you said they filmed part of uh, the the ending of the Goonies was filmed there. The ending of the Goonies. Yep. We'll have to show a clip of that. All right, well let's get back to the film, The Screaming Woman. And when we come back, uh, we're going to find out where your next destination might be, right? For yeah. this trip, maybe. We'll I'll see. tell you that. All right, off we go. Back to the Screaming Woman. Stick around. Uh, we've got more fun coming up. Bye. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Not now. Stay tuned. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to the show. Michael and Jessica stepped away for a short moment. I think they're checking on their next location. Perhaps it's nearby. No, well, of course it's nearby. That's why they're up here. Right. They do these things. Anyways, uh, we thought we'd take this opportunity to do mail because uh, you sent us mail. Big mail, it would seem. And how. And we have to do it. Did you have to carry this up? Is it full of rocks? Not quite. Oh, right. But it was rather disturbingly large. Disturbingly large. Well, let's, let's deal with it, shall we? Okay, I will give you the envelope. All right. And I will let And this her... is the letter that came with the big box. Yes. All right. Let's see what and we've I'll got. I'll give her yeah. big box. Is it really that heavy? Mm -hmm. All right. This was sent to us by Greg and Anastasia Pryor from San Rafael, California. That's San not far Rafael. from here. No, it's not far. And they go, dear creature features. Thanks for inviting all of us viewers into the Polter Mansion every week to watch the latest spooky movie you've managed to unearth. Vince, Mr. Livingston, Tangella, and Andrew, the four of you are a delight, and it's always a good time getting to know your guests. Saturday nights wouldn't be the same without you. Enclosed are a few creepy dolls and a couple of other toys. Oh, that is a creepy doll. Look at those. 
Oh my goodness, those are those are wonderful. Living dead dolls. Living dead dolls. You know, she's kind of a living dead doll, is she not? Rather. We bought these a couple of decades ago, but they've spent most of that time sitting at the back of a closet. So we figure it's time to pass them along to someone who might appreciate them. These are for all of you to share. So Tangela, please make sure the others get a turn. Did you hear that? That is most unlikely. Keep up the frightful work and see you Saturday night. Yours, Greg and Anastasia Pryor, Santa Fe, California. Well, thank you. That's so kind. Look at these. It's like Christmas for, for Tangela. Now, she loves these things. Yeah, she, she especially likes the uh, Nosferatu creature there, right? Is that Nosferatu? Right? No? What is he? Who is this one? Oh, Dr. Caligari. Dr. All right. Caligari. All right. That's the like island. the Frankenstein monster. And there's two of them in there. Oh, and that's the robot woman from uh, that other film. Metropolis. Metropolis, right. He's German. He knows about these German things. Well, yeah, thank boy. you very much. That's very kind of you. We'll find a, a place of honor to put them in uh, Tangela's room because they won't be anywhere else. There's a message about the young lady. A message about the young lady. Subject Tangela from Carol Stritzel. That's a German name, right? Stritzel, yes. Stritzel. She goes, uh, I really love your show and all of you. I do have a comment about Tangela. As sweet as she is most of the time, please have a stop hitting the janitor with hammers and mallets on his head. I cringe every time that happens. Love, Carol Stritzel. Well, you, you obviously missed the episode where she smashed an entire wine bottle over his head. I, I'm still finding pieces of glass in the, in the parlor. You, you so cannot do that. That could have been a, an expensive bottle of wine. It was quite expensive. No, it was empty. We drank that one. So, But it was a nice bottle. Mm. Right? All right. Well, uh, well, we'll see what we can do, Carol. But, you know, she's, 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 she's I, I don't know how to explain her. She's unexplainable. Thanks for writing. This came Last, without a letter. It came without a letter. Yes. It's just a gift. Just a little note saying... Here. No, there's a note right here. It says, Tangela, you would have been an inspiration for Mr. Poe. Enjoy your gift. Edgar Allen. Uh, what is this? Oh, no, look, and there's a gift for you. Mr. Livingston, enjoy your gift from Robert L. Here, you open this. And then uh, I guess it's just uh, you two. Here, oh, open no. that up. It's like Christmas today. It's just fantastic. Show me. There is no beauty without some strangeness. Yeah, she's got quite a bit of the ladder. That's that's for sure. It's Very a nice. bald head polish. Bald head polish. Oh, I have to see this. I have to see this. Bald head polish. Is there such a thing? Or is this like a so gag would, gift? So it would appear. This is like a gag gift. Bald head polish. Mountaineer brand, of all things. It's very serious. My goodness. All right. Well, you'll have to try it. Right? No? no. It, it looks Bald like... head care. It looks like something you might put on Four your hot cakes protection. as well. Moisturizing balm. All right. I have no, I have no response to that, but uh, wonderful. All right. Well, uh, who is it from again? This is from uh, Robert L., so, Robert, Robert L., L, thank you so much for the Robert wonderful gift. Robert L. in Reno. In Reno. I love Reno. All right, that's what it. Did, no more mail? That's Bald it. Bald head man? That was it. All right. So, uh, that's it for mail. If you'd like to write us a letter of your own, send it to the address you see over here. Or if you'd like to send Mr. Livingston a jar of bald head balm, send it to the postal address you see right here. Please, you don't have to. He already has one. Uh, we'll be right back with the Grim Life Collective, but first let's get back to the screaming woman. You like it. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at Winchester Mystery House. Com. Yeah, 
You know, uh, Jessica from Grim Life Collective, when you're old mm -hmm. and rich, mm -hmm. do you think you're going to go mad like this woman? Oh, I hope so. It seems delightful. He's going to drive you mad, right? Or he'll disappear under mysterious circumstances. Ooh, maybe buried alive on your estate grounds. You go grim, go figure. And I was going to be playful. I was going to like bury <laughs> no. speakers in the backyard and oh, that would be put fun. you out the mode of the lawn. The joke yeah, is, that'd be is that nice. this is a game we play together. Fair enough. He's I never, feel, I never feel sorry for filthy rich people going crazy. You know, I, What do they have yeah. to go crazy about? Money. Mm. Right? Everybody is like wanting it. Yeah. I don't know. These things happen. Anyways, speaking they of rich people money. with money, I understand you're going to go visit Coppola. Yes. Francis Ford. So up here in a, a place called uh, Geyserville, he has a, a, a I suppose it's a winery, yeah. right? But it's it's almost like a, a resort. Oh. There's a big pool, swimming pool, and there's cab cabanas. And you could rent. You should go swimming when you go. You should swim in... Francis Ford Coppola's pool. I'm kind of like a mogwai. Don't get me wet. Oh, uh, you know, I'm That's saying. Like midnight. <laughs> oh, no, okay. I, I, uh, I take no, no pleasure whatsoever midnight. from swimming. No feeding after midnight. Don't get me wet. Right. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Bad cat. Kryptonite. Yeah. Well, you, you, do, you, do you drink wine? No. I don't. You don't drink wine? Mm -hmm. uh, no, that's, that's the cheapest way to go visit a winery, is not to drink wine. <laughs> no, you'll go in there. They're going to say, oh, can we sell you a glass of wine? You say, no, I don't no, drink thank wine. You. Right. But, I uh, don't drink wine. There's so many nice things to see. I can't believe you've never been. In fact, you know, to be completely honest, last time that we were here uh, in this area, it was you who told us about it. Oh. So we have you to thank you for. No, I like going there. They have a wonderful cafe, restaurant type thing with, with lunch. They make food. It's good. I'm excited pretzels. to Pretzels. They have these pretzels. That's her jam. Oh, I do like pretzels. Oh, no, no, no. These are special. Because you get to tear them apart. They're like they're like a special kind of bread pretzel. It's not like the crunchy kind. I hope uh -huh. you like the soft kind. I like the soft kind. Yeah, the, but they're different. They're like, I think it, they're Italian. It's a recipe that his grandmother made. I'm not entirely sure. I might have just made that up. But I think it's something <laughs> it like that. It sounds good. No, it's, you made it's, it sound delicious. There's a yeah. laugh. No, there's, there's a lot, lots of, lots of things that he cooks there that's different. But uh, I want to walk the grounds. The grounds would be yeah, nice. Grounds. No, it's not much to see except for grapes. But uh, no, you're gonna love all the Dracula stuff. You like yeah. the Dracula movie? Brad Stoker's. Is... I will cry. I know you'll cry. Expect and I'll get it. you on camera. I, I don't know. Why would you yeah. cry? She. Whenever she's faced with things or items or experiences from her childhood that she loves so much, she oh. she gets the emotion right. is too much. Yeah. And it just always so it always seems to happen whenever I'm pointing so, a camera at her. It's like a not happy cry, though, right? It's a happy, happy cry. cry. It's a Absolutely happy cry. Happy yeah. cry. It's, not, it's not like. Boo-hoo, I hate my life. Yeah. It's, no. it's it's a happy cry. Being in the presence of something you never in your lifetime thought you would get to see yeah. and seeing it in person is very overwhelming. Well, maybe you'll run into Francis Ford and then he could like show you the back room where all the good stuff's kept. You know he has a brother? Francis yeah. Chevy. Yeah. He's he's going to be good at dad humor when he gets He's why I have age. lines. Oh. He doesn't have a brother. Well, he I don't gives know you he laugh does, lines? I have laugh lines. Because of him. It's new for me. You know, I don't it's like better it. than stress lines. Stop making me happy. Mm -hmm. would, this is miserable. The ongoing joke is I have to make her miserable because she smiles too much because of my I'm trying not awesome to smile right now. Jokes. You know, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that at all. You should, you should no, it's wonderful definitely foster that. It's right. very refreshing to be around someone who's a natural comedian. But I really would like him to stop making me laugh so much. I have to hold my face like this. You know, look at underneath your fingernails. Somebody told me if you don't want to laugh, look underneath your fingernails and you'll stop laughing. No, look on between your fingernails and your nails and you'll stop laughing. See, you stop. No, you don't look at your palms. You look, you look here. She doesn't get it. All right, let's get back to this film. And when we come <laughs> back, we're going to talk about something else, right? Yeah. All right, off we <laughs> go back to The Screaming Woman, 1972. Don't go away. Hi, my name's Vicki, calling from Altoona, Pennsylvania. I just started watching you two days ago, and I can't get enough of it. 
You're showing old movies that I saw when I was a kid, and I love it. And I love you, Aunt Angela, Mr. Livingston. Thank you so much for bringing back memories from whenever I was a child. Watch them with my sisters. Thank you, and I love it, and keep up the good movies. Bye. Hello, this is Livingston. Apparently, one of my newly acquired domestic duties is to request help for our show financially by asking you to visit our patron page. Your generosity will help keep Creature Features on the air, which I'm not entirely sure is a good thing. However, with only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new programming each week, which apparently some of you curiously enjoy. And should you have the desire to give even more, you might even receive a gift from Miss Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Jessica from Grim Life, mm -hmm. tell me, how do you get your hair so smooth and silky? That's actually natural. I don't do a thing to it. So it's it's a genetic thing. Yes. Oh, I can't change that. Baby now, fine hair, I? very yeah, fine. Yeah. Welcome back. We are watching the Screaming Woman with the Grim Life Collective. And Jessica, you know, I want to ask you, mm -hmm. this woman, she she only seems to be the buried one. Mm -hmm. Only seems to be speaking up when. The other woman's around. Does seem and, that way. And not when the authorities are. Is, is this some kind of like woman thing I don't quite understand being a man that women only talk to other women? Well, I don't know quite what it would be like to be a rich debutante, but I it seems that they always find it to be just terribly exhausting. And so dramatic. And so dramatic. Oh, right oh no, there's a man around. No, no, I just thought it might be like one of those things like, you know, the restroom, you know, because men don't speak to each other in the restroom, whereas women will we chat do. with complete strangers. Absolutely. No, I never did understand I don't that. know why we do that, but no, we do, no, yeah. Neither do I. No, do I. Well, so uh, what do you think? Should we get back to this film? Yes. All right, let's get back to the film, and uh, when we come back, uh, we are going to find out what your big plans are for the year, right? <laughs> right. Off we go. Back to The Screaming Women. See you on the other side of the break. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Mr. Vandal discovers what you've done to his breakfast melon, there will be hell to pay. This is Livingston, and you're watching Creature Features. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to the show. If you are just joining us, I, I, I don't know what to say. You're just absolutely tardy. I mean, who, who comes to the show at the end of the program? Very late. No, it's, it's terrible. We're watching the screaming woman. Uh, basically, a woman is in the ground and another woman is finding her and police are involved in this murder possibly or a motive for murder. All these things have happened and you missed it all. But anyways, watch the end. The end's good. Those shoes. <laughs> you know, I don't have a camera that could pick these up. Give me a shoe. All right. Let me show these shoes. I've been admiring these all night long. And these are, tell us the story behind these lovely shoes. So a friend of ours has a shoe company he makes horror shoes known as strange cult and cvlt instead of yeah. c-u-l-t oh, i did not even notice it's a jack-o-lantern yeah so and bat wings Th these are from Names his stars. this year's halloween line and uh brand new dress came out they're, they're cool yeah you know michael jackson did not have a pair of shoes this lovely he wishes he had shoes he cool would wish me. he had these <laughs> they're brand new you barely walked on them all right well Put him back on his feet because I, I, I don't have much to say about his socks. Yeah, for a man with such nice shoes, you certainly don't have very impressive socks. You know what? <laughs> it's funny you say that because before I came over here, I, I, I turned to Jessica and I was like, listen, baby ghoul, black socks or hot pink socks? Oh, Should've and she went told with hot you pink. black. Yeah. No, she told you hot pink. Which I one? Mean... She told me black socks, which is what it is. Oh, Classic black. Because we met. Because she has shoes similar. Thunder, had yeah. you worn the <laughs> pink socks. All black socks. everything. I, I agree. have to have no, my toes it's, it's, out, so mine are sandals. I like your shoes as well, but I'm not going to make you take them off. They match. They, they do. do. Match. They're his and hers Halloween collection. From all right, Street take Club. off one of your shoes. <laughs> Give me your shoe. I want mine to see aren't from this year. They are from this year. I think they're from last year. Both this year. Show me your shoe. Oh no! This is quite nice. Yeah, this feels like it's a better make quality them very shoe. Tall. No, it feels. It I can feels almost look you in the eye with those on. Yeah. Almost. No, no, no! If you were to kick somebody with one of these, it would hurt. I think it would cause more damage than those. Yeah. Tangella, if she were to choose, she would go with the more damaging one. Nice. All right. Well, thank you for watching the shoe show here <laughs> on Creature Features. It's uh, something we only do rarely, and uh, you've 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 had the pleasure of uh, seeing it once. Most people won't want to see it again. Santa Cruz. You're going to Santa Cruz. When? So on our way back to L.A., if we can find our way out of the fog that surrounds this place. Right. Uh, we consider Santa Cruz like our vacation home. It's a nice place. Date right? night. Back in the 80s, right. all yeah. the cool vampires would go there. That's and right. The Lost boardwalk. Boys. Right? Right. So that's where we'd like to go. We're going to press it. Um, vampires win. What are we doing? Oh. Oh. Vampires. <laughs> oh, and those lovely nails. Show me these lovely nails. Those yeah. are the best. My goodness, I, I, I want nails like that. We, we have to talk. Good stuff. All right, let's say we uh, wrap up this film. Yes. And when we come back, you're going to tell us about your international tour coming yes. up, right? Right? Whew. Maybe. Well, we haven't really talked. We haven't really let people know much about our uh, international tour you that's hinted coming. at it so you have to tell us well, everything now well the, the international one is coming next fall all right. we're already planning for that a lot of people are saying please come to the uk we're, we're big in the uk which is kind of weird so Scotland. We're, we're making that happen but uh well, we'll give we'll me the talk. details in a moment we'll talk. details in a moment let's finish up this film the screaming woman the end of the screaming woman we shall see you on the other side of the credits don't tune away because there's more of us see you soon This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today.
And so ends the screaming woman. You know, I, I love the part where she's coming out of the ground and she's all covered with mud. Is, is that what the bodies look like when you pull them out? No. Yeah. Not always so alive. Well, she's, she's always yanking things out of the ground. She's, she's, she's like a, a, a walking, uh, what do you call those metal detector things? But she can find like dead things. She should have been like a cadaver dog in another life. She could have been. I could see that. Yeah, like a poodle, a cadaver poodle. There you go. She could have been one. Anyways, you guys have a uh, big plans coming up. Yes. You're doing a big tour. You know how for the Halloween season, how people go into haunted houses and they always get walk through and they get scared and they cover their faces. Like the professional haunts. Right, professional right. haunts. Right. And they're like too afraid to look at everything. Right. Well, we're going to go to some of the, the scariest haunts in the country here in the United States. Right. And turn the lights on and show you, the viewer, how these people scare you and the artistry behind it. So you're you almost miss. like that magician bloke who gives away all the secrets. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. We'll right. keep a few. Well, okay, we're going to keep, we'll a, keep few. a few. We're so keep a no, few. No, no, I, I think it's going to be interesting because, uh, you know, I've never seen how these places operate. Horror yeah. up close and personal. Right, yeah. right. And, yeah. and what's, what's really cool about it is all these haunts are created by artists and storytellers. Of course. And each haunt, whether you believe it or not, they, um, they, they create a story. Each room has a story. The right. house has a story. Right. And you as a, a patron walking through it don't know this. Of course. So that's what they're going to tell us and we're going to tell You'll you You'll get the full yeah. like byline of yeah. the whole thing. Right. How fun. Mm -hmm. So you're going to Utah. Right. Mm -hmm. And where else? Salt Lake City. Salem. Uh, Salem. Oh, how nice. Sleepy Salem. Hollow. Orlando. Baton Rouge. Chicago. St. Oh Louis. Goodness. Orlando. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be gone a long time. Yeah. Yes long time my goodness but you like to travel we do right? we do we drive yeah. everywhere i don't blame you no you fly you don't see anything yeah. you drive you see everything right i love road trips it's a family road trip yeah we're like yes. the Gris Every time. we're the grimwalds the grimwalds i love it no that's perfect how do we i, I still think come up with that? i don't know but we need they a t-shirt <laughs> they should get a spooky bus of some kind and then take us along once just me, once me. it'll be fun We'll bring, we'll bring the party favors. Deal. Right. Good stuff. All right. Well, thank you both for coming back again. We hope uh, you'll stick around for a bit and have some fun with us. Oh, yeah. Pleasure. But uh, as far as you guys go, thank you for watching the film tonight mm. and enjoying these guys. Uh, we know you could have been doing something else like, uh, what could they have been doing? They could have been like mowing their lawn, right? Because people sometimes do that at midnight. I've seen it happen before. But instead, you decide to watch the show with us. And for that reason, we love you. We'll see you next week. Different movie, different guest. It should be fun. See you then. So, uh, Michael, you know, I notice your hair's getting rather nice. Yeah. Pretty soon you're going to look like me. Oh, God. I hope not. <laughs>